So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIB 24/7. मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा and guys in today's session as usually I will bring to you some important questions from the PIB news. This session guys is beneficial for various government exams but specially it is very important for ESI section of RBI Grade B. So let's begin with the session guys. But before we begin, if you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon and also you can join this Telegram group. For daily quizzes and updated information about the daily sessions. All right, and let's begin with the very first question. So recently, an award was instituted by AICTE All India Council for Technical Education to create awareness about issues like sanitation, hygiene, health, nutrition, literacy, employment, etc. among women. So you have to name the awards. So what is the name of the awards that has been instituted by AICTE for the women empowerment? All right, so let's discuss the news. So Ministry of Education has launched the Leela Vati Awards. The name of the award is what? The Leela Vati Awards 2020 AICTE's Innovation Education Program to Empower Women. And this has been done to create awareness about issues like sanitation, hygiene, employment, education, uh, to promote all these things among women. Okay. And if you talk about the theme, so the theme of the award, guys, is the women empowerment. So that's very easy to remember because since we are talking about women. So the women empowerment is the theme, and there are six sub themes which are women health, self defense, sanitation and hygiene, literacy, women entrepreneurship, and legal awareness. So these are the six sub themes under this award, Leela Vati Awards 2020, that has been instituted by Ministry of Education through All India Council for Technical Education. All right. So therefore, the correct answer should be what option B, Leela Vati Awards. And talking about AICTE, guys. So AICTE. Uh, works through the AICT Act of 1987. So there is an Act which governs AICT, and the Act is AICT Act of 1987. And the current chairperson of AICT is Mr. Anil Sahasr Bhutte. Anil Sahasr Bhutte is the current chairperson of AICT. Right. And now let's move on to the question number two. So consider the following statements regarding Jeevan Praman Portal. So guys, there is a portal which is known as Jeevan Praman Portal, which uh, Which helps pensioner to submit the digital life certificates, and this portal was launched in the year 2014 by the government of India. Uh, and we have to consider these statements one, two, three about the Jeevan Praman portal, and we have to identify which are the correct statements out of these three. So why we are discussing Jeevan Praman portal? Because this is because one second. Yeah. So this is because India Post Payment Bank. So you all must have heard about India Post Payment uh, India Post Payment Bank. So this bank has launched the doorstep service for submission of digital life certificate through the postman. Postman के through अब digital life certificate को submit कराया जा सकेगा. मतलब इसके लिए for the digital for the submission of digital life certificate, the doorstep services has been started by the India Post Payment Bank. All right. Now what is this digital life certificate? So For all the pensioners, for all the pensioners to get the pension, it is necessary to submit the life certificate to the pension dispersing authority. जो भी pension dispersing authority है, उसके पास life certificate जमा कराना is compulsory by the pensioner. Okay, तभी उसको pension मिल सकता है. So अब ये digit, ये जो life certificate है, अब इसके लिए क्या होता था? पहले की जो pensioner है, उसको authority के पास जाना पड़ता था, sir. So earlier, what used to happen is that the pensioner has to had to go to the authority for submitting the life certificate, but through the Jeevan Praman portal, all okay, right, through the Jeevan Praman portal, it was it became easier uh, for them because through this portal they can submit the digital life certificate. Okay, Jeevan Praman portal के through क्या हुआ? Digital life certificate they can submit. और अब इसको और ज़्यादा easy बनाने के लिए जीवन प्रमाण पोर्टल को भी ऑपरेट करने के लिए डोर स्टेप सर्विसेज विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक थ्रू देयर पोस्टमैन एंड द ग्रामीण डाक सेवक ऑलराइट एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस जीवन प्रमाण पोर्टल सो इट वाज लॉन्च्ड इन 2014 सो एज आई टोल्ड यू इट वाज लॉन्च्ड टू मेक द प्रोसेस ऑफ सबमिटिंग लाइफ सर्टिफिकेट्स एसएल फ्री गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया लॉन्च दिस पोर्टल जीवन प्रमाण और इसके थ्रू डिजिटल लाइफ सर्टिफिकेट्स को सबमिट किया जा सकता है एंड इट वाज लॉन्च बाय ऑफ कोर्स द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आईटी So remember, this was not launched by the Ministry of Finance. इसको Ministry of Finance से नहीं जोड़ना। इसको आपको याद रखना है। This portal was launched by the Ministry of Electronics and IT, which is currently headed by Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. All right. Ravi Shankar Prasad is the current uh, Minister of Electronics and IT, 
and talking more about this news so india post payment bank has customized its bank software and aligned it with the jeevan praman portal to provide this service ye jo service hai ye provide karane ke liye ipbb ne apna jo bank ka software hai usko align kar liya hai with the jeevan praman portal and ipbb ipbb will utilize its wide network of postman and gramin dak sevaks to provide the services to pensioner with the help of smart devices ये जो पोस्टमैन होंगे और ये जो यू नो ग्रामीण डाक सेवक होंगे इनके पास कुछ स्मार्ट डिवाइसेस होंगे जिसकी मदद से दे विल गो टू द डोर स्टेप ऑफ द पेंशनर्स एंड दे कैन हेल्प दे विल हेल्प द पेंशनर्स टू सबमिट देयर डिजिटल लाइफ सर्टिफिकेट्स जिनको जीवन प्रमाण पोर्टल को अगर खुद से ऑपरेट करना नहीं आता सो दीस पोस्टमैन एंड द ग्रामीण डाक सेवक्स विल हेल्प देम ओके एंड अदर फैसिलिटीज सच एज विथड्रॉल ऑफ मनी एटसेट्रा विल आल्सो बी प्रोवाइडेड थ्रू दिस डोर स्टेप सर्विसेज by india post payment bank okay so this was about this news guys so i hope uh, you can now answer this question so you have to identify the correct statement regarding the jeevan praman portal so this portal was launched by the ministry of finance so is that ministry of finance no guys it was ministry of electronics and it ministry of electronics and it it was launched in 2012 so was it 2012 no that's 2014 so this statement is also incorrect So, Jeevan Praman portal provides the pensioners with facility of submitting digital life certificates. Yes, this is the basic objective of the Jeevan Praman portal, which means only three should be the correct answer, option D. All right, and talking about guys, India Post Payment Bank. So, it was launched on first of September two thousand and eighteen. It was inaugurated on first of September two thousand and eighteen. Doctor P K Bisoy is the current chairperson. It is headquartered in New Delhi. It is headquartered in New Delhi and आपका bank आपके द्वार आपका bank आपके द्वार is the tagline of India Post Payment Bank. Okay. So now let's move on to the question number three. So question number three says which institute of Indian Railways has launched seven academic programs to create best skills in railway infrastructure management and etc. So, एक रेलवे का इंस्टीट्यूट है जिसने सात एकेडमिक प्रोग्राम्स लॉन्च किए हैं सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस न्यूज सो दिस दिस इंस्टीट्यूट राइज इज वॉट नेशनल रेल एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंस्टीट्यूट नेशनल रेल एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंस्टीट्यूट हैज लॉन्च दिस सेवन दीज सेवन अकेडमिक प्रोग्राम एंड दिस इंस्टीट्यूट इज लोकेटेड इन बडोदरा एंड ऑफकोर्स बडोदरा इज इन गुजरात ओके एंड दीज प्रोग्राम्स आर एम दैट क्रिएटिंग बेस्ट स्किल्स सेट इन रेलवे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट और ये जो सात प्रोग्राम्स हैं इसमें बीटेक के प्रोग्राम्स इंक्लूडेड हैं इसमें एमबीए के प्रोग्राम्स इंक्लूडेड हैं एंड इसमें एमएससी के प्रोग्राम्स भी इंक्लूडेड हैं सो दीज सेवन प्रोग्राम्स इंक्लूड्स बीटेक एमबीए एंड एमएससी प्रोग्राम्स राइट सो टॉक लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट मोर सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द बीटेक प्रोग्राम सो बीटेक प्रोग्राम विल बी फोकस्ड ऑन द रेल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रेल सिस्टम एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग The MBA program will be focused on transportation and supply chain management, while MSc programs will be focused on system engineering and integration, systems and analytics, policy and economics. Okay, so these are different focus in three of the programs: BTEC, MBA, and MSc. Two BTEC programs will be in it, two MBA, and three programs will be from the MSc. Okay, so there will be two BTEC programs, two MBA programs, and three MSc programs uh, total. Seven program, seven academic program has been launched by the National Rail and Transport Institute, and remember this institute is located in Vadodara, as I already told you. Okay, so therefore, guys, the correct answer should be what option A, National Rail and Transport Institute, that is located in Vadodara. And talking about Indian Railways, so the newly appointed CEO and the current chairperson also CEO ki post pehli baar create ki ki gayi hai in the Indian Railway. That is why I am saying newly appointed CEO. And the very first CEO, of course, is Mr. B K Yadav. We know Kumar Yadav. He is the CEO and chairperson of the Indian Railway Board. And talking more about Indian Railways, so there are total 18 railway zones in uh, Indian Railways. And recently there was a robot that is named as Captain Arjun that was launched by the Central Railway. Okay, Captain Arjun robot was launched by the Central Railway. That is a robot. All right. And now let's move on to the question number. One second. Question number four. Consider the following statements regarding Swarna Jayanti Fellowship Scheme and identify the correct statement. So let me tell you that why are we discussing about the Swarna Jayanti Fellowship Scheme? Because recently, Government of India, through the Department of Science and Technology, has identified 21 scientists that have been selected 
uh, uh, has identified 21 scientists to to provide Swan and Jayanti fellowship. Okay. 21 scientists, 21 young scientists को identify किया गया है to provide this Swan and Jayanti fellowship by the Department of Science and Technology, which works under, of course, the Ministry of Science and Technology. Okay. And now let's talk about this Swan and Jayanti fellowship scheme. So, guys, it was launched in the year 1997, and it is the launch year is very easy to remember. Swan and Jayanti, Swan and Jayanti का मतलब क्या होता है? Diamond Jubilee, uh, Golden Jubilee. So, Golden Jubilee का मतलब कि कि क्या होता है? 50 years. So, what is the meaning of Swan and Jayanti? Diamond Jubilee. All right. And what is Diamond Jubilee? Completion of 50 years. Okay. So, after independence. Okay. On the completion of 50th. In the, on the uh, 50th Independence Day, this scheme was launched in the year 1997. And its name is so you can easily identify the launch year. All right. So it was launched in the year 2000, uh, 1997 to provide special assistance and support to all the young scientists uh, to enable them to pursue basic research in frontier areas of science and technology. Okay. Basically, uh, research for Badawa Dene ke liye fellowship program is Swan Jayanti. Uh, fellowship scheme and the fellowship is provided to the young scientists. Okay, and launch year it was launched in 1997. And of course, the ministry is called the Ministry of Science and Technology, and it is implemented. It is being implemented through the Department of Science and Technology. And though अलग-अलग तरीके के इसमें grants होते हैं, so first of all, fellowship of rupees 25,000 per month for five years, and a research grant of rupees five lakhs for five years. Okay, 25,000 per महीने पांच साल के लिए ये पांच साल maximum होते हैं, इससे कम भी हो सकता है. Okay. So these five years are the maximum. The fellowship can be provided for less than five years also. Okay, this is the maximum five years. So fellowship of rupees twenty five thousand per month for uh, you know uh, maximum five years and a research grant of rupees five lakh for again maximum five years. Okay. So this was about Swan Jayanti uh, fellowship scheme. Now let's come back to the question number four. So you have to identify the correct statement regarding this scheme. So this scheme is under the Ministry of Education. So don't confuse guys between the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Science and Technology. This scheme is from the Ministry of Science and Technology. All right, which means this statement is incorrect. It was launched in 1995. No, as the name suggests, its name ne hi iska launcher chupa hua hai. So the launcher is hidden in its name. So one Jayanti means Diamond Jubilee and Diamond Jubilee of what? Independence and Independence ka Diamond Jubilee kab hoga? 1997 mein. Which means it is incorrect. And fellowship of rupees fifty thousand per month is provided to young scientists for five years. That is not fifty thousand per month. That is how much twenty five thousand per month. All right. So this statement is also incorrect. Which means none is correct. Will be the correct answer. Option D. All right. And now, guys, let's move on to the question number five, which is a static question based on a scheme which is known as Hirde. You have heard of this scheme. The name you will know. So let me give you a brief about it. So first of all, take a screenshot of this question and try to attempt it yourself. Consider the following statements regarding Hirdaya Yojana and identify which is are incorrect. So we have to identify the incorrect statement regarding the Hirdaya Yojana out of these three. Okay. So Hirdaya Yojana stands Hirdaya stands for Heritage City uh, Development and Augmentation Yojana. Okay. Heritage City Development and Augmentation Yojana is the full form of Hirdaya. So heritage city development and augmentation से ही इसका objective clear हो जाता है. The objective of this scheme is to holistic develop is to holistically develop the heritage cities. Okay? जो हमारी heritage cities हैं, उनको holistic development ही इसका basic objective है. It was launched in the year 2015 by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Okay? Housing and Urban Affairs के चलो है. Don't confuse between the housing and urban affairs. And the Ministry of Tourism because यहाँ पे heritage city है so there can be a confusion but since we are talking about the development of a city so therefore the ministry is what the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs okay total 500 crore का outlay was there and the duration of this scheme guys was for four years चार साल की इसकी initial duration थी that is from 2015 to 2019 and initially and uh, 12 cities were identified as the uh, as the heritage cities for their development and augmentation all right so this was brief uh, uh, you know information about this scheme now let's come to the question we have to identify the incorrect statement so it was launched in 2014 no it wasn't in 2014 it was in 2015 okay it is a centrally sponsored scheme where funding ratio between the center and states is 60 ratio 40 no guys it is a central sector scheme Remember this thing also. This is a central sector scheme where total 500 crore will be provided by the central government. 
through the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, which is headed by Hardeep Singh Puri. He is also the Minister of Civil Aviation. So now, can you tell me who has been appointed as the Director General of Bureau of Civil Aviation and Security? Write down in comments who has been appointed. ये थोड़ा सा पुराना है, but yes, आपको पता होना चाहिए. Bureau of Civil Aviation and Security का Chairperson इनको बनाया गया है. Okay. Uh, identify which is are incorrect. So this statement is incorrect. 12 cities were identified for development under the Yojana. Yes, this is absolutely correct and we have to identify the incorrect which means option C will be the correct answer only 1 and 2. Okay. And guys that's it for the scheme. I hope the, uh, that's it for the session. That's not a scheme. And I hope all the news are clear and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. We'll take a session. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.